So this year our class is doing praying mantises instead of butterflies. Uh, most people don't know the female praying mantis after she and the male mate, she eats the male. She starts with his head and works her way down. She lays about 50 to 200 eggs in the foamy brown egg case that's called anuathica. And it hardens to protect the eggs from the predators in the harsh winter weather and eventually she dies after she lays her eggs. In the springtime, the tiny mantises will hatch, pushing through the thin channels in the Uthica. We call the tiny mantises nymphs. When they emerge, they are very, very hungry, and eventually they end up cannibalizing each other, eating each other. They actually look like miniature adult praying mantises, but without the wings. And once their exoskeletons harden, they begin to hunt for food. By the late summer, the nymphs will grow to about three to four inches long and develop wings. They'll be able to catch large insects like insect, excuse me, like crickets or grasshoppers every day. To lay the eggs, it takes the female about three to four hours. Now my mantises in the classroom should hatch between two to eight weeks. They'll emerge within about three to four hours. For the first hour or two, they're not gonna be active. I've placed some twigs in there in our habitat, as you can see, so that they can climb on them. And eventually we will add some more. Also, in about a week or so from now, March 18th, excuse me, today's the 19th, I'm a day ahead, behind. We're going to put these tube-like items in the habitat with the egg sacs. Now the white stuff is just something to help get the flu fruit flies going. The other two are the wingless fruit flies. They're kind of icky. Yep. I just put the tube in the in the habitat, remove the cork, and zip it as fast as I can. So there, in a nutshell, is basically what we are going to be doing. And whenever I videotape, I will have this wonderful, lovely pond music instead of classical music this time for the mantises. We'll see how they react to that. Once they grow into adults and they're ready, we're going to release them into our garden out here at the preschool so that they can help eat aphids and, again, other insects that might affect our, our vegetables because we grow vegetables over here at our school. All right. Thank you very much.